Hello, Danganronpa, shiny doorknob. It's me. We're in the middle of a uh, trial right now for Nekomaru. Uh, we just, Nagito just really revealed that juicy piece of evidence that, uh, um, one, the final dead room, which is on the first floor of Strawberry Tower, is actually on the second floor of some building, apparently, and that uh, there is no there is no other uh, building behind the tower that uh, supposedly connects connects these two these two areas. So uh, we're, we're just trying to work with that right now. And what did Nagito just say? He just said, um, it might be possible for Hajime. You know what? Okay. Uh, from this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys truly are symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. The other clue is you talking about that one time, and that's where I um, broke immersion and forced you guys to wait uh, to view the next episode. So, nice stuff. But uh, I am playing this on Twitch if you ever want to come by. Um, and uh, yeah, it's in the description below, but no pressure either way. Let's get back into it, baby. Why, hello there, Hajime. <laughs> Nagito, why are you here? Because I showed up. Nice, you showed up. How'd you even come here? <clears throat> Maybe I teleported. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. <laughs> At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. The top floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? Is that thing just now another hint to figure out the mystery behind the funhouse's structure? The reason not get to appear from the third floor. Using the photo we took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. All right, let's do this. Logic dive, baby. Is that logic dive? Yes, certainly is. Let's go inside that little skull of mine. Okay. I don't know why I put that. I was going to do three, two, one. I just put the middle finger up, so. That's what we got. All right, let's try not to screw this up. Look at Hajime go. I wonder if Hajime does snowboard. This is like the first 3D model I feel like I've seen. Oh, that was, that was a speed boost. Good thing I... Powerful. <laughs> Powerful stuff, Hajime. Oh, God. Oopsie. Question one. Um, do Strawberry Trust and Grey Health both exist? Okay, I, well, they ex both exist. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fight. Yes, okay, yeah, because that they have to, because there's two different structures. That's right. That that would that wouldn't make sense otherwise. Oh, they are messing you up with this stuff. Oh my God. Okay, Hajime, you're fine. Dang, they make that stuff interesting. You watch V3. I'm excited to get there. It's gonna be, it, I, I'm sure it's gonna be wacky and wild. And Strawberry House and Grape House, the same building or two different buildings? I think they're the same building. Uh, yeah, they'd have to be because that tower is. We're doing better on the logic dive. We're doing a lot better on the logic dive. Go, Hajime. All right, it should be one more question. Here it is. Um, how are Strawberry House and Grape House positioned with each other? Vertically. Yeah, they're not horizontal. That's how the elevator doesn't uh, spin. I'm sorry. To, I'd, I'd be interested to see what B3 is like. Wow, I got it all right. I actually got those right on the first try, too, which is an anomaly. Okay, so do Strawberry House and Grape House both exist? They do. Are Strawberry House and Grape House the same building or two different buildings? They're the same building. How are Strawberry House and Grape House positioned with each other? It's all coming together. It's me, Sonic. Got it. I know the secret of the fun house. Do you? Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. No. So where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building, different floors? <laughs> Holy Moses, I've never seen um, 
pop a Gundam like that. And the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? Oh my god! Some sort of skyscraping building! If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Y yeah, that's it's clear to me too. Where's Strawberry House located? The floor above. Yeah, 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 yeah. Above Grape House. It's on the second floor. Easy. Anyone should know that. Anyone should know that. That's where Strawberry oh, House is located. Oh my God. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap. I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. <laughs> you really, gosh, I, I don't know what it is, Sonia, but you really, I, I feel like I could really connect with you now. I, maybe it's uh, your change of pace in terms of your uh, your speaking, but God, you're just so easy to talk to. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. Mm. Of course, a quadrilateral. And it worked, didn't it? Whoa, what is that? They're breaking out the budget for this one, apparently. Look at all this 3D stuff. Oh my god. It's my PS1. Oh, my computer. Whoa. Whoa, it's burning. It's burning. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. Mm. You've just been kuma <laughs> You've been covered in Kuma, kid. <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house you know what i gotta give you that my man i gotta give you that put her there bang then it's true the building was really like that that's right those two houses exist on different floors in the same building they really ramped it up with the trials in this one i like it a building like that on your own without my knowledge how, how horrible then what about the towers are they arranged vertically just like the houses yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, Strawberry House, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been, on, been different floors inside the same building. Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious hammies don't know? But it's so simple. Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> Please clap energy. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. Oh, definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. I think Kazuichi might die next. Maybe not. It could be the Toko that makes it out. Alright. Good night, bud. Tip repeal a chain, broken doorknob. Uh okay. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass. <laughs> hey, swearing. One My mom is listening. One of the towers. Golly, your hamsters. A dummy. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent, Gundam! <laughs> no fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! Hmm, okay. A dummy in Nekomar's body existed. Does that mean the killer prepared it in advance? Advance? But is something like that even possible? I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. 
It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're That's you only get those. Gundam? Yeah, you only get those two options. Okay. No fair! You totally stole my spotlight. So which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them. Oh, he's crying. Oh, he is crying. <laughs> All right, a dummy of Nekomaru's body existed. Does that mean the killer prepared in advance? But is something like that even possible? I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. Then hurry up, I don't think it's the, uh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking it's gotta be broken doorknob or chain, or could it be the wire? Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire. The type of the wire was also tied into a loop. I don't think it's wire. Nekomaru needs a, uh, AKA Mechamaru after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the Fun House. His head is severely damaged beyond repair, so this would be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs are actually designed to be detachable. It seems they, they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged, because as many of his functions seem to shut down. Um, good night button was another one. When this button is pressed, all the most functions, uh, functions cease, and he's forced into sleep mode. One of the pillows on the side of the door was tipped over. The damaged area of the pillow is also stained. It was so heavy that two people couldn't budge it. It might be a tipped over pillar. I think it, I'm thinking it has to be. So from where I'm looking at right now, I'm like it has to be something that, that in the room that's different. Um, but I don't know what that would be. The chain. A chain was wrapped around the handles of, uh, of the door at the back of Grape Tower. For some reason, the killer was able to enter the, t the tower from Strawberry. Why don't we know why now? Um, broken doorknob. A, t a doorknob found under the tipped over pillar that the screws in the at the base are pulled out and there are some scratch marks on the knob itself. One of the doorknobs in the far back of Strawberry House was missing. So this door was originally attached to that door. I don't know if that contradicts anything though. Regardless of whether you enter the tower from Great Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Nekomaru's body, the tipped over pillar, the oil stains, even the disassembled parts because he... I don't think it's broken doorknob. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy no that's wrong i'm hitting that sh i'm hitting that ship i'm i'm i mean all right that's what i'll take that Nekomaru's body wasn't that wasn't dummy. actually that can be proven by kazuichi's account that that like that's uh oh my god like that uh the, i wonder if he's gonna use the evidence the way i think about it why did i say that <laughs> let's um let's save actually wow, i'm on such a roll um, okay, so why, why the fuck did I say that? Because I think it was like... Because everything was the same. Yeah. Even the disassembled parts looked exactly the same. That's probably what he's going to say. Me? Yeah, Remember, I'm you! When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... Not just that. The parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment... You were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grape Tower, right? Yeah. The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built a dummy. God, it's weird seeing all the other people here, like Mahiru over there, and being like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot about her. was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. This really is not going in his favor with this, <laughs> with him and Sonia. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. Uh... You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. That is disappointing. <laughs> disappointing. Even more disappointed. Man, this guy's going through it. I'm so sorry, Even Kazuichi. Whose body wasn't a dummy. It's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor? You can't think of a device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same God. building? Ah, uh, what could it be? God. A device like that? Ah, uh, God, I, I don't know. Ah. Uh. I've only lived in a bungalow my entire life. <sighs> Stairs? A device that transports things to different floors in the same building. I feel like I've seen that before. This is a little... <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh, we're, we're, we're jumping in. Alright. 
Hangman's Gambit. Elevator. It's got to be elevator. What else could be? Let's see. E L E V A T O R. Boom. Easy peasy. I forget how to do this. I don't need this yet. Bam. I did actually need that, so I should have kept it around, but that's fine. Oh, I blew it up. My B. All right. We don't need that one yet, but I might as well. Don't need that one either. Goodbye. Just get that out of the way. Oh, actually, I do. I need these. You're exactly what I need, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm just struggling to think about this fucking elevator. God, what can it be? Oopsie, that was bad. Okay. Elevator. Oh, they're coming quick now. Uh, I just need an O and an arm. Thanks, son. Thanks, Magoobers. All right. Complete. You Completion. You must be talking about an elevator. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? It's the tower itself. <gasps> the inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room. I didn't even right? think. I didn't think of the buildings were on top of each other. I was thinking about how the elevator so could that's spin. That's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. <laughs> well, I'll be danged. Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator, then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower? There's, there's there. If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. Ripped. <laughs> <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? Just fucking, I didn't realize how many buttons he's got down there. What the fuck, you, Jesus Christ. You that afraid your sleeve's gonna come off there, fuckface? Make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? So, let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? The things that didn't change we moved between the two towers. That includes the body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been talking about that stuff for a while now. There shouldn't be anything strange about them. Not even the fact that they all moved with the elevator. Um, the one thing these all have in common... Um, uh, they, no, they're all heavy, they're all huge, they're all on the floor. Items Cranial expansion. And? And? <laughs> when you raise your hand to answer a question, you're like, yeah, it's two. Uh, what's two plus two? Uh, four. And? Uh, uh. Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. unique about that elevator 
Uh, you can enter one side at a time. It's a normal circle. There's no ceiling. Only the floor moves. Makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you for that health. So Please, it. God. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Genius. Only the floor moved? Yeah. Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then, where do the different floors lead? I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just for show? Why was something like that necessary? I don't know. I falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So I'm trying to put it through together on that map, right? Um, God, okay, maybe, maybe this isn't gonna go anywhere, but so let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I gotta draw it out. I'm gonna draw the shape. Okay, because the thing is, is so the elevator is like the elevator. If you put each building over top of each other, um, and the elevator has to stay in the same spot, obviously. The hallways should be on the same side, though. That's the only thing. Because if you literally just put the building on top of one another, you have one hallway sticking out this way and one hallway sticking out the other. So the elevator itself actually rotates. Is that right? Am I just... Am I, am I thinking about the shape wrong? Because if the... The elevator that we're in... Yeah, because they would have to be for for the hallways to be in the same spot, you'd have to turn um, one of the floors 180 degrees. Is that it? Is that what? Is that literally what the building does? Does the building itself rotate 180 degrees? Because maybe uh, when we look at that photo that Nagito took, it looks like the towers were on top of each other. When they show it in that 3D diagram, they're not actually connected. So I think that, yeah, the tower must, the tower on top must rotate. At 5.30 a.m., she heard a rumbling sound, which was probably the towers rotating. Okay, 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 okay. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Nice. Epic. Epic family caring moment. Oh. I don't know about that. There's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from strawberry tower as possible <laughs> let's get it going baby let's get it going why because of that chain you guys thought you couldn't enter there right like you said i could probably use these parts to repair that button but seriously hold on even if you do repair the button what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door chain the door that leads to Strawberry Hall is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. 
I'm sorry, I just didn't even think about that. The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the twoof. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. Yeah, okay, because looking at this, right? Um looking at this and thinking about the map before uh this hallway to the tower is on the okay you know what actually having this might help me because maybe i'm maybe i'm incorrect so the elevator if we're looking at it like this should be on the uh, on strawberry on the strawberry building it should be the one closest to us it, the door would be on the bot uh the whatever the bottom floor of, of strawberry house uh, facing us um no sorry looking at this it should be on the far side i'm wrong it should be on the far side of the tower and the one on the green side should be on the on the bottom floor facing us so it actually still doesn't that's why the tower is rotating 180 degrees the killer wanted to keep us from learning that that's why they made us stay away from strawberry tower they destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. Oh, what would that be, Mr. Tanaka? Pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. <laughs> You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically... Yeah, boy. Then, when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But, does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means, the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? What does this what mean? Does this mean? <laughs> what is nice? I, I agree. I wish Hajime said it out loud. What does this mean? The two houses are connected vertically. The position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in Grape House, the tower was on my right. And when my back was facing the elevator in Strawberry House, the tower was on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know what piece. I don't know what piece of evidence we'll have to use. Maybe we'll have to suck something up. I don't think the con is. Are connected vertically. It might be the rumbling, actually. The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both Oops. houses. If the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. That's true. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Oh my god, that fucking face freaks me out every single time he does it. So Gundam and Sony have matching arguments. It sounds like it makes sense, but is that really correct? If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which I guess you can't, can't hit it unless it's, if there's stuff in the way. It's clearly contradictory. What's Let's see. Okay. Opposite directions. Um... What was it? It was Akane's account. Apparently, Akane heard a rumbling noise at 5.30 a.m. I, I think what she probably heard was the towers rotating, but I don't think that's actually... I don't think that's what they want us to use in this section. Fuyuhiko's account. Apparently, Fuyuhiko saw Nekomaru walking toward the first floor of Strawberry House at 5 a.m. That doesn't contradict anything. 
contact elevator. The contact elevator used to move between both houses uh, was broken and no longer worked. It was apparently broken at the Grape House side, so the last person to use it would have arrived at Grape House. Um, mm, I don't know. Okay. Kazuichi's account. Apparently the compass's needle spawned 180 degrees. Well, it? Okay, yes, that's it. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be Kazuichi's thing. So Gundam and Sonya matching armaments. It sounds like it makes sense, but is that really correct? If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. That's true. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Oh, hmm. I mean, that's true. I assure you, when the elevator is behind you, each tower exists in opposite directions. Hajime, your back is getting scorched. <laughs> What does that mean? I'm getting burned? <laughs> I made a mistake. I need to think it over one more time. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. Um. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning. It's the towers are in opposite directions. She's saying the towers are in opposite directions. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Um, is that really correct? If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you. What, about, what was Nagito's sudden appearance? Let's look at that. Let's look at that. That might be it. Nagito's sudden appearance. Nagito was supposed to be a strawberry house, but he appeared at Grape House via some unknown method. The contact elevator should have been broken. Okay, so they're trying to argue that the towers aren't actually connected. Um, uh, which, uh, which I don't know if it actually makes sense. Directions. Which means your reasoning. It's not broken doorknob. I don't think it's strange in the tower. I don't think it's Akane's account. Uh, I don't think it's Fuyihika's account. Teamwork. So it could be con it's is it contact elevator? So Gundam and Sony have matching arguments. It sounds like it makes sense, but is that really correct? If the two houses are connected vertically, <sighs> the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. I'm not contradicting anything when However, I say when I say houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Hmm. <laughs> if the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Didn't think so. Yeah, that was uh, that was that didn't make any sense. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm kind of firing, kind of firing just out of nowhere. Uh, contact elevator. Vertically. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Oh, Sam. There's a second one. <laughs> you didn't know I've been playing it the whole time, motherfucker. This, don't worry. There's a third one, too. And it's actually four games. So don't worry. There's, there's plenty, Sam. And there's a, a million visual novels after that, so don't worry. I've got all the content you could ever want. Um, okay. Let's look at the true build section. I, I need to actually look at what they're saying. Can I can I see what they're saying in this section? How can I break through this contradiction? Uh, maybe it's Akane's account? How to make your back is getting scorched? Uh, okay, it might be Akane's account. If the two houses are connected vertically... The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, 
If the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Yeah, really not killing it. Really not killing it today, Sam. I assure you, when the elevator is behind you, each tower exists in opposite directions. Hajime, your back is getting scorched. Each tower exists in opposite directions. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Not that either. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't mind someone giving me a hint for this one. If I'm not going to get it. If you're out there and I'm not sure what it is, that's okay. I, the, I usually don't uh, ask for them, but right now I, I'm really, I'm lost. I'm lost on what to do. Damn it. Uh, he does a count. Vertically. No. Contact elevator. elevator I might just be using it in something. Vertically, not horizontally. They do mean vertically. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? It could be opposite the opposite directions on opposite directions because is that really correct? Because I I think because how could it be in opposite directions if we vertically. saw that they're on top of each other? The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. <laughs> I assure you, when the elevator is behind you, each tower exists in opposite directions. Damn it. If the two houses are connected vertically. Uh, strange feeling the tower, maybe? Regardless of whether you enter the, the tower from Great Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Nekomaru's body, the tip of her pillar, this oil stains, even the... Uh, maybe it could be that. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. It might be that. That actually does seem However, to make sense. At both houses. Oh, we'll see. Let's just let's let's fire it off you. and just see what we get there, baby boys. The towers are in opposite directions. No, ma'am. All right. Um. Ah, man. Okay. Uh. Oh, I could look it up, but that's risky. Okay. Um. Oh. I'm just worried about looking it up because I, I got away with that once before, but I, that shit could fuck me up. Um, Damn it. Because hmm, it's just like, oh, by the way, the mastermind the is this person. You're like, vertically. lit. Okay. The elevator should move. Two houses are connected vertically. The elevator should move vertically, vertically not horizontally. Not horizontally. Um, okay. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Um, it might be because we just account. I'm just not using the right one. The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. <laughs> no, that's wrong. That's right, I got it after um, after using my <laughs> large uh, cerebellum. Just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Come on, you used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah, it was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning... As the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. <laughs> they do the rotation on that as well. Fuck off. It this janky... probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. This janky-ass fucking 3D model. I am living for it right now. Holy fuck. <laughs> Looks like a screensaver on fucking... <laughs> on fucking... Windows 98, like Windows XP or something. All right. Uh, was it doing that, though? It said it didn't even rumble. 
Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. <gasps> Wait, we were in an amusement park. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. I was literally about to say, about to call out that dumb really little fucker. Need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. Those brains? I mean, uh, sorry, those hearts on the outside there? Like a little testicular. You say like a I'm little testicular. Human, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the fun house, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. Nice. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? <sighs> we got a lot to dig into uh, on this one. You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know. What is the Octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... <laughs> I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an Octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. What an Octagon means? An eight-sided shape. Octo. Like octopus. With eight tentacles. If I recall, an Octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. If you're getting into the, if you're not gonna get into the best school of the country, like, if you don't, ah, <laughs> uh, fair. I don't fucking know. Honestly, I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna add you. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? The place befitting of the name Octagon. It's probably. Uh, the octagon? Grape house, the octagon? But isn't grape house... Anyway. You're right. Looks like I had a little misunderstanding. What's searing? Looks like I just made a fool myself in front of everyone. Yeah, literally. Uh, okay, so where's the eight-sided shape? There. Tower. Huh? The Octagon side the tower? But isn't the tower circular? You're right. Looks like... Ugh. Oh, God. Strawberry House, the Octagon? But isn't Strawberry House so... You're right. What the fuck am I doing? If it's not... Which place would be the Octagon? Uh, um... I... Ooh, okay, this isn't it. Uh, which place would be to fit to get the name the Octagon? Um... I don't fucking know. Uh, the octagon, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeesh. Hey, which place to be the octagon? Uh, um, I fucking someone else answer. What the fuck? All right, let's fucking tear it up. Strawberry house, the octagon. I can't. Oh Jesus, this is fucking awful. Um, the, the top. <laughs> hey, which place to be the octagon? Uh, um, that's six sided octagon. The elevator's octagon? Huh, why? I don't know, man. I actually have no fucking clue. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's no use. It's no use. I can't go on any longer. I don't have any other options. Everyone doubts me. Ha, ah, it appears the trial's come to an end. Now that it's time to vote. Well, I can totally imagine who the blackened will be. Pee! Yeet me out. Yeet me up, children. Ahem. By a majority vote, the one who has been chosen as the blackened is... You know what? Does it tell you? I fucking hope it doesn't tell you. Hajime Hinata. But Hajime is, Hinata is not the blackened. Too bad. Is it going to tell me if, who the blackened is? I swear to God. Oh, okay. They've graduated plenty. Congratulations. And now, the others will all be punished. And, ah, that means you too, this Hajime. Is our end? Yeah, man. Would you like to retry? No, I'm sorry. I, I want to fucking die. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I need another minute. Oh, shit. There's nothing you can do. Oh, it fills the influence gauge. Wow. It's almost like you can't lose. The place between the name Octagon is probably. Ooh, I have to still choose it. Select a suspicious pot. Um. 
Oh, fuck. Octagon. It's not strawberry. Like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What would it be? It's not strawberry house. You're right. Looks like a little misunderstanding. <laughs> Everyone just fucking dies. Hodgeman just says the same shit. Wait, I need more time. Uh, uh, is it the strawberry house? No, you already you already said that. Oh, uh, uh, is it a uh, grape house? No, that you, you, we gone over this. What are you doing? He's gonna fuck. He's gonna rip us limb from limb. Is the grape house six sided? You're right. Looks like I had a little misunderstanding. Everyone's staring. I I got no fucking clue. It's not the elevator. I literally just did that. Is there is there some sort of eight sided shape that I'm just fucking too too um thick skulled to understand? Here. All right. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. The thing is, is like, uh, all right. Why is that place the octagon? I. All right. I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I was feeling that one because that literally that it's kind of unclear because I was like always I was like well it's the room behind the dead room, but I didn't like I this uh, we were facing the elevator in Strawberry House so I was like well I can't click around Strawberry House so I don't know where I like it's like I was just trying to choose like somewhere outside of the building and then I thought if I click the building I don't know that the spot selection thing is like sometimes I'm actually about it and sometimes I find it a little that felt a little that felt a little like. Unclear. You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you yeah, it makes a sense, I guess. Shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. Hmm. Okay. 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 That's basically the gist of it. All right. Sure. That never mind. Now that they explain it, it makes a little bit more the sense. True identity of the yeah. When you're looking at it. Secret room in the depths of the final dead room. That's right. Okay. So that's how we got. Um. That's how we got into Grape House. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too. That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. Learned? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the Fun House. Because it starves us all to death, Which maybe? Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the Fun House from the scenery. And then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. The fun house itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> It truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. Uh, the fun house is the true identity of the ultimate weapon. What does this mean? How did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru? And who is the killer who did that? Oh, we get some juicy backstory now. Trial suspended. We'll look at that. Wow, can you believe it? Why, hello there. I thought of a bad, new bad word to call Monami. I can already tell I'd be pleased by this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> I'm already used to insults and slander. There's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. Monami is a seriously stefatly. Th that's much more straightforward than I expected. Stefatly, huh? That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect gesture attack incorporating all three of these would be ta da Stu Fatly. Ha wa wa There's a fat hidden okay, in there. Hey everyone, all together now. Monami is a serious Stu Fatly. Nice, it's true. Stupid fucking pig barf. <sighs> Can't deny that she got the curves though. Alright, save, overwrite it. Try a reopen, just we don't want to take a pause. Yeah, it's not so bad. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Okay. Uh, my heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a laid-back, so what, attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Ah, 
but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. Is that? And just like I say each time, don't forget to say it frequently. Oh, Monami, you do not have to worry about that with me, baby. You do not have to worry about that with me. Uh, should you save again? Yes, I should. All right, let's do it. Uh, oh, I literally just saved. Taking advice, man. Taking Monami's advice. I never expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh, oh my well. god. Let's just press on ahead. Okay. Is it really all right to accept the situation so easily? Fuck it, dog. Life's a risk. That's not what's important. The thing that's really important is... Where is the pee? The killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. Yeah, but he's, kind of, he's been acting kind of fucking There's weird. No I trust way him. I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. And after Hajime almost fucked the dog on that last attempt, I thought it's better if, I, if I'm fucking honest. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. Damn, here he goes, all right. He's all in. I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. <laughs> it's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know. It's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Honestly, that would be me. If I if it was if, we, if I was fucking called for jury duty and I had to sit on there, I'd be like, and they're offering a fucking lunch afterwards. I'd be like, all right, just wrap it up. Let's flip that coin, baby. Flip that coin. Heads or tails. Guilty you and you no. Know. You were drooling waterfalls. Yes, she is. Nagito, as usual. I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea. I do, idea. I have no idea. Or if he say you should know. If the killer used the building structure. Why don't we think about how they used it? Okay. How they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Yeah, fucking maybe. Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? He was horribly damaged if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten by it with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. I mean, I need a pillar. <laughs> beaten. Um... So what was Nekomaru's cause of death that was that also utilized Bill? Oh. I see. I actually kind of guessed that one, but I. I think he might have died from falling. Oh, that would kind of explain like the noose that was like wrapped around him, the fucking rope. Died from falling. If the funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected. Well, uh, actually, he wouldn't die from falling. He would die from uh, uh, an impact uh, after. Uh, uh, um, I, I no, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, ha good, one. good one, good one, fucking good one. All right. If the funhouse secret is that it's a structure with both towers and houses are vertically connected. The killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Poor guy. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That I don't know yet. <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? Oh. It might be possible in the tower. That's, yeah, you could push would have him to be. the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. <sighs> so, why is there blood on the pillar then? Hmm. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. Okay, maybe the broken doorknob is probably, the broken doorknob could be the thing. Um, did they wrap the wire? They said that there was a loop. Oh! They said there was, okay, so there was a loop. So maybe the loop wasn't tied to, um, wasn't tied to a neck or anything like that, but maybe it was tied to, um, oh, okay. I'm kind of thinking about maybe what it could be. Maybe it was tied to the doorknob on the, um, on the, uh, top door of Strawberry House, uh, on the top floor of, uh, the, the top of the tower, um, and uh, because that was, it was the grape tower door that said it was um, 
missing the handle. So they probably looped it around the handle or something like that. And as the elevator was descending, the weight of it broke. Maybe they looped it around the, did they loop it around the top of the tower and Nekomaro? I'm guessing that they used that to anchor Nekomaro to the top floor. Maybe it snapped or something or he fell and then boom, chakalaka, he hits the, he hits the pillar, that falls over and then that causes the big noise that everyone heard. Um, so if they had his good night button, it's so weird, so weird, so weird. I'm trying to think about the time that he died too, because it was 7.30, let's say the clock stopped working. So they have him, I don't know. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. <laughs> But my gut is going crazy right now. It's going like wham, zam. If Nekomaro died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaro from? If we're going to reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. All right, good fucking luck, GLHF. Uh, let's see if I can get an F. All right. I, it's got to be broken doorknob. When the elevator Maybe is on not. The first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Huh. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. God fucking damn it. Hold on, did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Um, sleep mode probably. Which means okay, the elevator so. wouldn't have moved either. Must be the threshold of that elevator. All right, it's probably the good night button then, if because that that seems to be the contradiction. I need to make it clear to so understand that Nekomar fell to his death. Looks like it's all up to me. <laughs> and we we it's been working floor. good so far. <laughs> you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Huh? Okay. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru in yeah, the elevator, uh, sounds like Glados. They moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on, did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside. No, that's wrong. Get fucked, Kaz. Kazuhira Miller. Ah! I'll play sure you like a damn fiddle. Nekomaru wasn't moving inside. The elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? That's right. When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. I was wondering how that came into effect, if he's yeah. In sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. It's true! There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes? That's what I was about yes. to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. He's getting fucking memed on right now, this poor boy. Silence, pest. Nice. Fucking <laughs> tear him up, man. Kazuhira Miller. <laughs> a way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru is still in it. Chucky seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? It's the wire! The wire! But yeah, wire. It's gotta be wire. Or broken doorknob. It's gotta be one of those two. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all... I, I, that's not a contradiction. I would agree with her. Right? Do not interfere. That arrangement is. The hammer is suspicious. That's right. You got it. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? No, no, no. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Oh, nice. He's trying to. Sounds he's making up. Pest. Okay, fantastic. Don't be so cold. What if I start to enjoy it? <laughs> oh, he is Toko. Oh, no. How can you get a, a difference in elevation? Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be the broken doorknob. You can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That's right. 
How would these flowers look most pleasing to the eye? The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? Ooh, that combo. Did you see that shit? The floor, it seems I agree with that. Yes, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh, we're getting back to our basic gear. We're getting back here. I did. I did have scrape art scrape much to myself. Might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Yeah, is bitch. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekamaru? It just might be. The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob. If they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair. Midair. Right. He was suspended in midair. Huh? Huh? Killer tied up Mekamara with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Okay, so there is a killer, but they made it look like suicide. Tied the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. Oh. And suspended Mekamara there. guy. <laughs> That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever fucking seen. God, that piece of shit. This little fucking goatee. Oh, I missed that bitch already. That's really sweet. That's right. He was so well hung. <laughs> kind of like. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. You better not finish that sentence. <laughs> TOS. The Thank you. took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaro could fall to his death. Too easy. Oh my god. We got fucking pink hair over here. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. I mean, that's a fair point. <laughs> Rebuttal showdown. Wire to for pillar, new looking hammer, pillar fragments. Even if they suspended Nekomaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What, what was that? I was pressing the buttons. Seems certain there's an elevation inside the tower was used to kill Nekomaru. I need to find the answer and counter Kazuichi's remark. I, that was fucking weird. From a, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. Bruh, no what? What? what is going on? It's like it. Oh, I don't even limit amount of cuts. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wall, how would they I make get fall? it. There's no one in the tower to push Big him dumb. off. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. Mm-hmm. The alarm clock, maybe? What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could... <laughs> Now's the time, but in that case... You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru in sleep is just impossible. End of story. Oh, the clock's alarm tower. Radio clock. Oh, thanks, Katsuichi. I think I forgot how the killer dropped Nekomaru. All right, if you use that evidence, I should be able to break through Katsuichi's remarks, too. Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that. <laughs> Now's the time if you want, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru Not pillar inside fragments. is just impossible. End of story. Hold on, thanks Kazuichi. I think I forgot how the killer dropped Nekomaru. All right, if I use that evidence, I should be able to break the Kazuichi's remarks too. Nekomaru fell on his own? Nah, hey, what the hell are you even saying? I'm not the type of coward to get thrown off by a messed up remark like that. It's no use. I can't cut through Kazuichi's rebuttal with this. I need what? to think it over one more time. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the top, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain that moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside. I got no cuts it's left. It's impossible. End of story. We're gonna retreat now. Oh my God, retreat! Damn it! I was overcome. It's gonna go back to the original Even topic. They suspended Nekomaru from a How would they make him fall? Oh, There's I already. No I already. Tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Oh, that was close, baby. That was fucking close. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. 
It's possible that he fell on his own. <laughs> what? Nekamaru fell on his own? Nekamaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, maybe I just didn't fucking use that? I guess not. Or else that would have happened. What yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair. I don't know, but we're gonna have to find out next episode. Not a greatest cliffhanger I've ever left you guys off on, but it'll have to do today because we're five minutes over on this episode. So um, this trial, it's funny. Some of these things, I'm like, boom, got it. Uh, and then some of these things, I'm like, no fucking clue. Don't know what to, uh, don't know what to do about that. But uh, we're figuring it out. And that's the fun part, you know what I mean? Um, but for now, yeah, we're, we're going to call it here on YouTube. I am going to continue streaming this. Uh, so if you want to catch me live, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, you can follow the link in the description below. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope that you're having a good day. I hope that you're enjoying this game. It's fun. This is a, a very interesting trial, actually. I'm very, uh, really, I really like this trial. Um, it's, it's, uh, I just, it's, I just like all the, God, there's just so many moving parts and I like how you're kind of figuring out during the trial too, which is, which is kind of funny. You don't have all the answers and then you're just kind of being like, well, that, that, that you're getting information from other people too. And you're kind of sussing out, which I think they improved on in this game a lot, especially with the spot selection stuff, which, uh, um, uh, does make sense. I was, I was confused by it, but, uh, but seeing how they explain it, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I do get that anyway. Um, for now, I will see you in the uh, next fuckity fucking video. So get uh, friggity friggity fucked. You know what I mean? Rick get riggity rickety wrecked. Yeah, that's bad.